Someone tweeted it to me, and I thought, this is just really unfair. Kim Kardashian is feeling some type of way about Pete Davidson's new girlfriend, and it looks like she just can't stand that all of her exes are moving on. I'm okay, um, you know, there'll be issues, things will come and go, but I'm totally okay, and I feel good, and I'm just living in the now of feeling good now. Pete Davidson's romance with the new girlfriend Chase Suey Wonders is heating up, and Pete already removed all of his tattoos dedicated to his ex, Kim Kardashian. So uh, he got them all removed. God damn, but what kind of witchcraft do the Kardashians be doing to people? What you mean? Yo, you, you know what kind of witchcraft you must ha be have on people to be having them get tattoos like that and not marry? This news comes just months after Kim bragged that Pete got her name branded on him so it would stay on his body forever. And his neck tat, so he's like, I don't want to be able to get rid of it or to cover it up, and I just wanted it like there as like a scar on me. Meanwhile, Kim's ex-husband, Kanye West, also has a new woman in his life. And sources close to Kim are saying Kim is now desperate to start dating again because she hates that both Pete and Kanye have moved on before her. Someone tweeted it to me, and I thought, this is just really unfair. It's been five months since Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson ended their romance, and it looks like Pete is now trying to erase all evidence that he ever dated Kim. Not only did Pete remove all of his tattoos dedicated to Kim, but he also recently went public with his new girlfriend, actress Chase Suey Wonders. <laughs> Interestingly, Pete went public with Chase just days before news broke that another one of Kim's exes, Kanye West, secretly got married to Yeezy designer Bianca Sensori. Speaking of love, Kanye West has found a new love, a new Valentine, and ladies and gentlemen, a new wife. What? As for Kim, she still hasn't gotten back into the dating game since she broke up with Pete back in August. We're now hearing that Kim is getting very frustrated that all of her exes are booed up, and she's especially jealous of Pete's down-to-earth girlfriend, Chase Suey. Besides being an actress, Chase is also a Harvard graduate, and she majored in film studies and production. She's best known for her roles in the HBO Max show, Generation, and in the 2022 horror comedy, Bodies, 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 where she starred opposite Pete. Where's Max? He's not responding to my texts. <laughs> One insider recently revealed to Us Weekly that Chase and Pete had insane chemistry, even when the cameras weren't rolling, on the set of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And though they kept telling everyone they were just friends, it was clear they were closer than that. However, it looks like Pete and Chase are no longer trying to hide their romance, because TMZ recently caught them snuggling up as they waited for food in New York City. According to the outlet, eyewitnesses at the food spot saw Pete and Chase sharing a kiss and cuddling before leaving in the same car. And then a few weeks later, Pete and Chase were spotted sharing some PDA on a romantic getaway in Hawaii. So it's safe to say they're officially more than friends. At one point, the two are photographed sharing a sweet smooch by the beach. In another shot, Pete and Chase are all smiles as they cozy up during their romantic stroll. Pete also recently got rid of all his tats dedicated to ex-girlfriend Kim Kardashian, including My Girl is a Lawyer from his left shoulder and the initials of Kim and Kanye's four kids from his neck. The infamous branding of Kim's name has also disappeared from Pete's chest, and it looks like Pete had it covered up with a tattoo of a dog. So how does Kim feel that both Pete and Kanye have officially moved on while she's still single? Kim recently revealed on Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast that she's open to getting married again. However, she also claims she wants to take her time and be single for a few years. I'm taking my time. I really do yeah. want to be single for a few years. I think that's great. But it looks like Kim is now having second thoughts about staying single. And according to Kardashian insiders, she's getting frustrated that all of her exes are moving on before her. One insider told the U.S. Sun that Kim was fine being single until she saw that both Pete and Kanye have new women in their lives, and she's now desperate to start dating again. Watching Kanye and Pete and how easily their lives just move on, it's left her feeling frustrated, this source shared. According to the insider, Kim is now definitely open to meeting someone again, even if it's just for dates, and she's already put the word out via her inner circle that she's open to setups or introductions. Meanwhile, other sources are speculating that Kim is losing it over Pete's new girlfriend, Chase, because she's the complete opposite of her. While Kanye's new wife, Bianca, definitely bears some resemblance to Kim, Chase is nothing like her, and fans are convinced Kim is jealous that Pete has moved on with someone educated and down to earth. Kim's fans, on the other hand, are now dragging Pete for downgrading from Kim, and some of them are even body shaming his new girlfriend.